By the end of this video, you'll know exactly how to add a custom icon directly within a text element inside of Bubble. If you're using Bubble, you're probably familiar with the process of adding an icon next to a text element. But at this point in time, you might not be aware of the process to actually put that icon inside the text element. Now, thankfully, this is a relatively straightforward process. So not only is this tutorial going to give you the step by step instructions to do that, but it's also going to go one step further and show you how you can actually customize that icon separate from the text element it sits within. Now, today we are going to be touching a little bit on some HTML, but don't stress, this is going to be a super straightforward process. So you don't need any past experience with coding or even HTML. Look, at this point, I've already rambled on for long enough. So I'm going to hand this one over to Luca and he's going to teach you everything you need to know. Today, we're going to be going over how to add a icon with inner text element in Bubble. So as you can see here, the standard way to do this would be to place a text element, configure the alignment and all of the conditions for that, and then add an icon and then do the alignment and the conditions for that, and then put a group over it so they um, come together like this here. And as you can probably tell by my description of that process, it's a little bit long winded um, and you can save a lot of time by placing the icon just within the text element um, using the text box here like this. So the text box actually recognizes HTML code and that's what we're going to be working with today. And as you can see here, we've got the syntax for this icon within the text box. So let me just delete that and walk you through the process. So what we're going to do to get an icon is basically open a square bracket, type FA, close the square bracket. And now we're going to want to type which particular type of icon we want. And simply to get the name of the icon, we're just going to go over to the icons, search for the one that you might want. So let's pick this one here. And you want to take the letters and words after the final FA of the icon. So we're going to go after the dash, we're going to get the dot dash circle dot O. We're just going to copy that name. We're going to paste it directly after the end of that bracket there. And we're going to open another set of brackets, type slash FA and close the square brackets there. This slash is very important. If your icon isn't coming up, maybe because that slash isn't there. So now as you can See below, we have the icon coming up before the settings, which is how we've typed it in the text box here. If we wanted it to be placed the other side of the settings text, we would literally just put this whole bit of code after the piece of settings. If I delete that there, and we want to put it there, you can see that it comes up basically just like. A letter. So, how do we go about personalizing this icon like we've done in the standard method? What we would do is just jump into the rich text editor over here. And this is basically just a more granular way of being able to edit HTML, and Bubble helps you to generate some of the code itself. So, Demonstrating this, what we're going to do is we're going to set the color of our icon to red. So we're going to go over to the font color button here. We're going to click red. We're going to click save. And now you can see our icon's red. And what Bubble's done is actually just pop that HTML code in for us. If we wanted to change the size, then it would be exactly the same method. We would just highlight our icon and click the size. But as you can see, there was kind of only a very limited number of things you could do with that. If your app is a color like red and is the exact color code, then you'd be all right. But how can we do more granular personalization of our icon? To do more granular personalization of our icon, what we basically want to do is put in our exact color codes and the sizes that we would want to see. So for example, we wanted to change the size to an exact value, we would just put that exact value in there. So we do 3.4, go to 3.4. If we wanted to do 2.99, we can do 2.99. If we wanted to get the exact color code of our item, we would 
find the color code that we want. Copy that. Uh, we would paste that in where the hashtag is for the color code here. As you can see now, we have our brown that we have in our conventional method. So if you had, for example, a specific color that your application was going under, you could input that into our icons within the text element here. A quick bonus tip here, if you've not seen the thing you want to do with this icon within the rich text editor, what you can do is go to a website like W3Schools, um, which basically gives you all of the syntax that you can do with HTML. And what we can do is just pick one of the things and pop that into the text box and it will populate out in bubbles. So for example, if you wanted to do superscript, it's a smaller version of the icon, a little bit above the text. What we would do is we would take our command here, the sup, and with these websites, basically what they do is they put our square brackets as a greater than sign. And all that we want to do in our head is basically just translate these greater than signs or pointy brackets into our square brackets. So now we've got the code for what we want to do. We're going to go back over into bubble. We're going to go into our editor here. I'm just going to remove our styling previously to make it a little bit easier to follow. And what we're going to do is we're going to type in our command that we've just gotten from the website. So open square bracket, sup, close square bracket, open square bracket, slash, sup, close square bracket. And as you can see, now our icon is in the superscript position. That's how you get very, very granular and do a lot of personalization with the icons within the text elements. And just like that, you can now not only add an icon directly within a text element, but from here, you'll also know exactly how to style that either using the visual rich text editor or some basic HTML of your own. If you found this video useful and you wanted to stay up to date with any additional tutorials I share on this channel, I'd always recommend hitting that subscribe button so that way you can be the first to know whenever I drop a new video. In the meantime though, I just wanted to say a massive thank you for taking the time to watch this tutorial and I wish you all of the best on your own no-code journey.